guys, thanks for tuning in. So the first step is to load up your favorite one stroke. I always like to put my darkest color on the outer edge of the eye and I'm bringing that out a little bit. Next, I'm adding Vivid Glitter Lemonade while the paint is still moist. And the next step is to paint the bottom of the bird, including the bottom of the beak and its belly. And then I'm gonna switch colors and paint the top of the beak and the head all the way down, all the way down to its tail feathers. And next I'm gonna go ahead and add the side feathers. The next step is I'm gonna actually use that same brush and create the leg with the brush on its tip to get that thin line. So the next thing is I am going to paint the lips, which I could have done this step earlier when I did the belly. And then I added Vivid Glitter Flamingo with a smoothie blender. On the job, I would say use a disposable lip applicator, which I will actually include in the descriptions. So now I have the dark brown and I'm creating the branch that the bird is perched on. I like to place my elements diagonally often uh, to make the design more interesting. So now I have double loaded my flora brush with yellow and dark blue and I'm creating beautiful petals coming down the cheek. And now I am tracing the bird with black. So we're going over the back feathers and we're just gonna very delicately trace the beak and make a little eye there. Then we're gonna go down, down the belly. I'm adding some eyeliner here. And just a little detailing on the branch just to make it look like an actual branch. As you can see, I made the branch going between the, the bird's legs. I didn't want to cover up the legs while I was painting the branch, so I just kind of was careful to go in between. And now the next step is I'm taking my Gleam Glitter Cream in the bold color Breathe. Um, this color has some bright blue and some neon green along with some pretty stars in there and I'm putting that right in the highlighted cheekbone area and I'm also taking some mystic melon gleam and this is a lighter more iridescent color because I just want it to just look shimmery around the bird's head And next, I'm going to add some highlights. I'm just taking some white and just adding some highlights throughout, not the entire thing. Right here, I'm adding some teardrops, motion, like the wind is blowing, and a few swirls here and there just to give it some uh, highlighted dynamics. This is a great design that you can use on the job. And there you have it guys, isn't my daughter gorgeous? So this is a beautiful spring bird and as I said all the products are actually available at vividglitter.com and I will include a description of everything I used to create this design for you. And don't forget to subscribe and give me some love on those comments. Thanks for watching.